Item number SCP-5465 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures To ensure that SCP-5465 does not manifest anomalous properties outside the Foundation's control, a group of 365D class personnel here and after 5465 catalysts are to be placed within a seven day based fitness regimen tailored solely towards the muscle groups of the upper body. The regimen's overall schedule is to be arranged so that each individual would begin their own specific session a day after another's so that if the first D class were to start on January 1st, the 365th D class would begin on December 31st. Note, an additional D class is to be added to the group during leap years. All 5465 catalysts are to be regularly exposed to an infrasonic J. Bravo auditory behavioral agent. In addition to its use in containment, the agent should prevent any individual from engaging in the following activities within their cell. Doing squats, lunges, wall sits, or any similar exercises. Doing toe touches, leg crosses, butterfly sits, or any similar stretches. Extensive amounts of kicking, extensive amounts of jumping, extensive amounts of dancing. Running for periods longer than 5 minutes. Walking for periods longer than 20 minutes. Standing up for periods longer than 25 minutes. If such activity is observed, it is caused for an immediate priority to alert. Foundation Web Corps SS554 Lip Triangle is to search for and compile a list of any recordings containing music associated with SCP-5465-1. Note, examples include Gonna Fly Now by Bill Conti, Pump Up the Jam by Technotronic, and Don't Stop Me Now by Queen, as well as 5465 positive key phrases, such as No Pain, No Gain, Only Two More Miles to Go, and It's Lick Day. If the listed recording is screen positive by Foundation staff for the presence of SCP-5465-1, the recording is to be taken down, and if possible, the source identified for debriefing and amnestization. Handling of SCP-5465-1 recordings and their sources is the responsibility of MTF Tau-15, Dark Jams. Description SCP-5465 is the quadriceps femoris, an anomalous human muscle group located in the anterior compartment of the thigh. SCP-5465 comprises four muscles, Actus femoris, and fasti lateris, medallius, and intermedius. SCP-5465's non-anomalous function is knee extension, and the actus femoris additionally performs non-anomalous hip flexion. SCP-5465 anomalous function is conjunctured to be a paraphysical tuning device. Human paraphysical capability is notoriously inconsistent. See Vesnowski's classic study, and the working theory attributes this, at least in part, to widespread underdevelopment of SCP-5465. The crew of the theory is that human paraphysical capability is derived from the species-wide gestalt. Note, the genetic range of individuals associated with this gestalt is unclear but includes at least the homogenous, and that SCP-5465 development facilitates both paracanisological attuning to this gestalt, and as a consequence, the development of the gestalt itself. SCP-5465-1 are anomalous recordings of popular exercise music tracks, often played on gym sound systems or the present known media players of gym goers. Under the influence of SCP-5465-1, subjects are prone to greater focus on the lower body in exercise, especially SCP-5465 itself. SCP-5465-1 influence also rapidly accelerates specifically the parakinesiological development of SCP-5465, Non-anomalous physical muscle development of SCP-5465 is only slightly 
accelerated. But periconosolical atonement is around 50 times faster. Periconosolical containment researchers have devised a procedure using 5465 catalysts to disrupt the species wide gastrote. Widespread practice of neglecting lower body exercise and exercise programs had left the gastrote in advanced atrophy until the development of SCP 54651. By reverse engineering SCP 54651, continuing researchers developed the J Bravo Disruption Program. Continuing researchers developed the J Bravo Disruption Agent, which promotes neglect of, rather than attention to, lower body exercise. When employed as per the special containment procedures, the use of 5465 catalysts subject to J. Bravo effectively suppresses development of the gastrote. History The discovery of SCP-5465 has been a paradigm shift in parachronosology. Note, generally referred to as parapsychology before said paradigm shift. Paraphysical capability had been thought to be mediated by the brain and nervous system, and a unifying theory of periconosology was thought to be out of reach. The initial discovery of SCP-5465's anomalous properties appears to have been by members of the Anomalous Health Group and GOI, Serathostris Jim, formerly Agrippus Jim. Under their earlier name, they focus on largely wrong-headed attempts at creating substitutes for anabolic steroids with classical alchemy. After their discovery of SCP-5465's properties, they renamed themselves in honor of a quotation from Frederick Nietzsche, thus spoke Zarathustra. Zarathustra's Jim embarked on several campaigns to promote SCP-5465 development, including internet memes and video form check services. They were largely unsuccessful at strengthening the guest out until their development of SCP-5465-1. SCP-5465-1 was uploaded to various video and music sites and did not achieve notable reach until somehow swapped in for existing media files on popular Spotify workout and exercise playlists. The source of the resulting increase in periconosological activity across the world was not difficult to trace as identical tracks are available openly on the YouTube channel of Silverthrustress Jim. Research into SCP-5465 itself and the investigation of the GOI both proceeded rapidly, but the raid on the San Diego Health Club, thought to be the primary meeting location of Zarathustra's gym, proved fruitless. Provisional containment was established around six weeks after the Spotify uploads. Given the breakthroughs in the science of periconosology occasioned by their activities, Members of Sir Thestra's gym are considered high-value targets for involuntary recruitment.